board in the house, board in the house, board. David! David, come here, Bobby. Come here, babe. Come here. Oh, no. Are you having a bad day, sir? What's wrong with you? I don't like how my Wayne liner came out today. That's for sure, but it's fine because no one's looking at it besides me and all of you. I come to the realization that I have literally no hobbies. Like, am I that boring of a person? I have no hobbies. So today I wanted to do a little vlog slash mini haul slash what I'm wearing during quarantine times and then also Chef Steph. I made this recipe last night and it was so freaking good. I posted it on my Instagram stories if you guys follow me. And you guys were like, Chef Steph, this recipe. So I did film it. I was one step ahead of the game. So that will be at the end of the video. What is that? Is there a... Tell me that you're dirt biking. I think somebody's trying to dirt bike and ruin my life. I can't be mad. They are practicing their hobby, which is dirt biking. So maybe I should go out there and learn. That sounds dangerous. Anyways, but yeah, I want to show you guys a few things that I picked up recently. So let's come on over to the couch. So over here I have a few cozy Easter egg toned items that are super comfortable and cute because a lot of the times when I'm at home, I'm just wearing like the baggiest, ugliest items of all time. And right now that makes me feel worse about myself. So I have some cuter selections here that I will show you guys. Some are new and then some are just old favorites of mine. Don't these colors just make you feel like very calm and collected and cozy? Cause that's what we're going for here. So here we have outfit number one, which features this really cute Sex in the City t-shirt paired with the best pajama pants in life. So I have talked about these before. I think they were in like a non-beauty favorites or something like that. They're from Target and they're seriously the best pants ever. So I have these in multiple colors, but this light green color is very springy. So I hope they still make them, but if not, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> And then on my feet, I have these really cute, fluffy sandal slippers, and I just love them. They're so thick and chunky, and honestly, you could probably wear these outside because the sole is, like, really thick. It also makes you taller. If you want to be taller, this will make you, like, an inch taller. Not that that matters right now, but, you know, these I'm wearing nonstop. Love them. So, yes, this is outfit number one, and if you watch my clothing hauls, you know what I'm going to say. Cute and comfy. Chanel. Cute. Comfy. Boom. Next up we have this cute little lavender sweater and short set. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like so fuzzy and fluffy. I love it. And obviously it's matching. Matching sets are great because they make you feel like you have your life together. Even if you don't, if you're matching, it's just like, oh, she's got her shit together. Then I just have it paired with these fuzzy socks and these ashy knees apparently. <laughs> so these socks I got on Amazon and they come in a set with all of these fun colors. This would actually make like a really good little Easter present. Fuzzy, cozy socks. So I have all of these different colors and I'm just wearing the cream ones. I also ended up getting this little set from ASOS. I just love the color. If you know me, this is my favorite color ever. So it has like this little ribbed short with just like an oversized tee. And if I'm being honest, the waistband is way too tight and I'll definitely be breaking the elastic on this so it can be more comfortable because the material is so soft, but the waistband is like, I don't really need to be snatched, okay? Don't act like you don't break the elastic on things that are too tight and stiff and constricting, okay? Because I know that we all do it. Then the last set that I got from ASOS is this one, which is definitely really similar to the Skims one that everyone wears and raves about. Uh, so it's really cozy and soft and has like, again, that fluffy, fuzzy material. I realistically would never wear it with a bandeau. I'm just trying to style it like the model, but no, this is a little bit too much for just sitting at home. For a cute picture, yes, but for realistically sitting on my couch, no, this is not. The bandeau situation is a no-go for me, but it does look cute. So again, I have it paired with my fluffy slippers. 
And then lastly, we have my favorite joggers. So the top and the bottom are both from Target. And I also have them in this light, like minty sage green, but I have the matching set for the gray. And yeah, I basically live in these joggers. I also have a set of joggers from Walmart that I mentioned before, but I cannot find them for the life of me. So just imagine that they're in this video. I also wanted to show you guys some new phone cases that I just got in the mail. So these are from Casetify and they are sponsoring today's video, but I love them. I've worked with them in the past and they make my favorite phone cases ever. They protect your phone really well and they have so many cute options. Like I feel like phone cases are like an accessory. So I like to have like different options. So this one has this really pretty cherry blossom print on there, which is perfect for spring. This one is iridescent with clouds, which just feels like very light and airy and fluffy and happy. And then these two are custom. So I love that they do custom cases. So obviously no one has one that looks just like yours unless they make it to look just like yours. So this one obviously is this rose gold mirror with SML. And then this one is a leather case with the SML logo, which I thought was fun. So yeah, if you guys are interested in any of the cases, I do have a little discount for you guys. You can go to casetify.com slash Stephanie Letta today to get 20% off your new favorite phone case, which I don't even know which one is my favorite. Which one do you guys like the best? So I think I'm gonna get started by opening this bottle of wine. This is from my Wink Wine Club. It says, don't be scared to change the prince's name in your story. David, are you my prince? <laughs> what a beautiful sound. I would like to fill it to the top, but then I just spill it, so we can't be having any spillage. She's back. I would take a shot of this, but vodka shots are disgusting. Um, tequila only, por favor. Oh, cleavage, cleavage alert. Okay, so I'm gonna take a few tablespoons butter and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil as well then I'm gonna add in some minced garlic so then to that I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper while the garlic is in there next up is the star of the show the vodka I'm gonna add in like, I don't know, a quarter of a cup. This will not get you drunk, sadly. <laughs> if only that was a possibility. Just kidding. This will do. So you wanna let the vodka cook out. Then I'm gonna add a bunch of sliced, I think these are cherry tomatoes, maybe grape tomatoes. Add them in there. I'm going to add in a little salt, throw some over the shoulder. Next up, I'm adding more tomatoes. So these are just diced tomatoes. And they come in this little box, which I don't know, for some reason I feel like they taste better than out of a can. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy cream, or a lot, I don't know. How much is in here? This is half a pint, which is how many cups? I don't know. Four cups and a quart, two cups and a pint. So maybe one cup, I don't know if that's true. I mainly just judge it by what color it is. I like it to be like this light blush pink color. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of, why do we keep saying little bit? I'm going to be adding a small amount of chicken broth. Probably like a quarter cup. I'm really terrible at measurements, everything is a little bit. Damn baby, all I need is a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm just gonna let it hang out there while I boil my pasta. And I was gonna do penny or penne but I don't really like that, so I'm using rigatoni. Ow! 
Oh, my hand. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh basil. Not that wilt in there. And then I'm gonna take some grated Parmesan. You could shred your own, but I don't ever do that. And then really quick before I drain my pasta, I'm gonna take a little bit of pasta water and add it in there. Just so it's not like too thick. I'm gonna add in the pasta. I'm very weird about the pasta to sauce ratio. That's why sometimes I don't put all of the pasta in right away because I don't like when there's not enough sauce for the pasta. Then the last step is to plate it. A little bit of, where's the label, ricotta? To, oh geez, to the top, like this. Just a little bit to the top. Sea salt to the very top. And that's it. Here it is. Oh my god, it's so good. Never had anything this good ever. See, now they don't know if you're being serious. Mmm. It's good. Would you order it? Tastes like chicken riggies. There's no meat. This is vegetarian. Just like me. He's not vegetarian. Where's your wine? And the other one. Cheers to quarantine times. This is supposed to be um, Penny or Penny? Penny? Penny a la vodka. So I was going to name it. Pandemic a la vodka. Mm. But then I use rigatoni instead. Mm.